Firescape Academy Inspector Training. Uh, we're here in Rutgers University, uh, walking around looking at some of the buildings. And I believe we're on the back of College Ave. And uh, let's take a look at this fire escape here. Must be structurally sound, must be kept painted. So let's take a look at some of the issues that uh, you can write a violation on. First of all, is it more paint than rust or more rust than paint? And this one has actually more rust than paint. So this is all you need to do is write a violation on rust and you write the violation. Repair, paint, and test. The word repair will automatically force the inspection to be done by a professional. Structural engineer or others acceptable to the building official or the fire marshal, such as a fire escape inspector, a licensed fire escape inspector. The second thing is uh, you don't have to find anything structural because that paint violation will pick up the structural. But let's say that a week to a week or so ago they knew you were coming and they came in here and they threw a nice paint job on this thing. This thing was shiny black. What other evidence can you find on this fire escape that would make you write a violation on it? A uh, structural violation. I mean, is there anything dangling? So you look up, you look for dangling treads, no dangling treads. So I don't have a life safety issue. But let's look at some other things. Do we see any rust growth, any original hardware? If you look up this fire escape, you can start seeing a lot of original hardware that was original to the day it was built. You see some bent railings. The ladder is tied up with a cable and a lock that needs a key to remove it. So this ladder is no longer functioning. Uh, it's a slide ladder, has no weights or any balances, otherwise this thing just drops at two to three. It doesn't even drop at two to three feet per second. It'll just come down and conk somebody in the head. Uh, you look at all the original uh, gussets on this. It's all original, uh, uh, what do you call them, um, rivets. And in 50 to 75 years, some of those should have been rebolted or some of them should have been reinforced by now. You can see rust away at the top. So this fire escape has many, many issues and it needs a paint job. So uh, this fire escape does not pass inspection. It needs a full paint job, full structural, and a full evaluation on this fire escape. If you have any questions on this or any other videos that you've seen, give us a call here at firescapeengineers.com, 866-649-0333. Or you can visit our YouTube channel, Firescape Academy Inspector Training, and look at this and many other videos just like this from, out, from throughout the country to teach fire inspectors, building inspectors, and housing inspectors how to write violations on fire escape. And again, never write a scrape and paint violation because that's exactly what they'll do. This is a one to three thousand dollar paint job, or this is a ten to fifteen thousand dollar repair, uh, depending on who is putting in the bid. The painters will just come in and paint this for one to three thousand dollars, but the structural guy, the iron worker, is going to spend you know ten to fifteen thousand dollars to repair it and paint it and give it and guarantee it for ten years. So the owners get that have a violation that just says scrape and paint. We'll usually pick the lowest guy to do the job and, and forego any repairs uh, that you need. And that ladder does need a release arm. That ladder does need a balance so that it drops to two to three feet per second. There's quite a bit of work here on this particular fire escape. Give us a call if you have any questions.